New York City is perhaps one of the most visited and well-known cities in the United States. Before planning to visit New York City, take a look on these don'ts. Don't drive yourself. If you don't know the streets you're going to get lost and cause problems for everyone around you. If you do know the streets, you know that driving is going to be slower than the subway and your damn feet. Do not enter the city without a plan. New York City is huge. You don't need to plan out every minute of every day. But know what you want to see and do and research a little bit about the locations. Whatever you do, do not go to New York City without planning. Don't block traffic. The city moves fast and the people in it have to adjust. If you block traffic, you will be mowed down or will be the new enemy of everyone in your immediate area. Get well out of the way if you want to look up at a building or down at your phone. Otherwise, move. Don't attempt to drive in New York City. Traffic in New York City is a nightmare. Don't even attempt it. If you don't know the streets and don't know where you are going you will only frustrate yourself and others. Be afraid of not waiting for traffic lights. There are a lot of people in New York City and a lot of traffic. If you stand by and wait for somebody to let you pass by or let you cross the street, it may not happen. Never wait in line. If you encounter a line for most anything, skip it. Tickets for almost every place you want to go and see and everything you want to do can be bought online, so you shouldn't be standing around anywhere. Unless it's a dire necessity, you shouldn't be standing. Horse carriage rides are a waste. Don't bother. It's tacky and not even good tourist fun. It's often sad rather than romantic. Pedicabs are the devil. Never pay for anyone offering you a pedicab ride. Do you see locals using them? No, because they're awful. They're also a scam as often as not. Get a city bike instead. Don't assume New Yorkers are jerks. New Yorkers have a reputation for being jerks, but most of them are actually really cool. If you can meet some locals, they know all the great things to do, or to find the best deals, the best happy hours, and can tell you the hottest new neighborhoods. Don't use Uber during rush hour. For one thing, you'll end up stuck in traffic anyways. With surge pricing, Uber prices skyrocket during rush hour, so it can be very expensive. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.